Hi, welcome to this Bites for You. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Sapphire Nitro Radeon RX 6800 gaming graphics card. These videos to me are incredibly important because the last thing you want to do after ordering your card or receiving your card is having to wait God knows how long because it's missing an adapter or you're missing a cable and you just don't know what to get. So I'm going to show you every single thing that's in this box to prepare you for your next step. Gaming. So come check it out. All right, so here she is again, the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6800 gaming graphics card. 4K UHD gaming, oh yeah. 16 gigs of RAM, GDDR6, PCIe 4.0 support, but it is backwards compatible, so don't worry. Nitro, AMD Radeon RX 6800, AMD RDNA 2 architecture. Along over here, we can see the UPC part number S88-2E439-200SA and the SKU 11305-01-20G. Here we can see some product specifications, key features, and all that good stuff. Nothing much over here or along the top or bottom. So let's just go ahead, open it up real quick. Making sure to keep it all nice and neat and pretty because when I'm done with it, I have to send it off to the next reviewer. So no, I don't get to keep this card. All right, so this is based off of AMD's second gen RDNA architecture with a boost clock of, this is the card I'm gonna put it away for right now, 2,190 megahertz and a game clock of 1,980 megahertz. All right, so here is the representative in Germany card. And then their Sapphire graphics card quick installation guide, which don't worry, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to install this into your computer. So very generic, basic information over here. And I think that is it. All right. So let's put this away for now. All right. So this card measures 310.5 millimeters in length 134.2 millimeters in width and 55.2 millimeters in height all right so that we can check out the back of the card it looks very nice with their radeon sapphire nitro logo looks beautiful their logo back here looks to be backlit but we'll find out soon enough then as they've done on a few other cards, I love this. And NVIDIA's done it as well. Blowing air through the card, not to trap that hot air in. So passing that heat right out through the top of the system, which usually you have a liquid cooling unit or at least some fans on the top to expel some of that heat. If not, it'll just go out through the back of the system. All right, right over here, we can see two eight pin PCIe connections. The card will consume up to 290 watts. So a minimum of 750 watts is required for this card. We can see right over here, there are some fins exposed aside from these, of course, along with a pipe right down there. Radeon, all that nice looking piece of card here. There we go. Let's make sure to take that off. Not impressive. All right. Then we can see the fans on the card themselves. Nice looking fans. And as the trend has come, the two larger fans on the outside and then a smaller fan on the inside. We can see these are, have a radial technology over here for the fan blades themselves. And we can see just these fan blades over here as well. Kind of nice looking. Okay. And then right here through the back, either to take in some air from the back of the system or to expel it. I'm not sure just yet. I just unboxed it. Then we can see here one HDMI and three DP ports. So the DP ports, you're going to get more bandwidth than you will out of the HDMI, but that's okay. The HDMI is going to work well regardless. 
We can see down here on the bottom of the card, serial number, model number, and all that good stuff. Then some more of those fins along with the heat pipe down in there. Towards the back of the card, this is where they're going to have all their fans and RGB stuff connected right over here. They also have a switch right over here. You can barely see it. It's really tiny to switch between the different BIOS modes. So this card does have 3,840 streaming cores, 128 megs of infinity cache, along with 60 ray tracers. As I mentioned before, 16 gigs of GDDR6 RAM with a 16 gigabit per second effective memory clock speed. As I showed you before, there is one HDMI and 3DPs for a maximum of four displays at once. This does have dual UEFI BIOS support. Now the HDMI port right along here is an HDMI 2.1 VRR port and the display ports are 1.4 with DFC. This is compatible with Sapphire's own tricks, which I will be showing you that in the installation video and then the later video on controlling the RGB and the fans. This is a DX12 Ultimate card with hardware ray tracing support built off of AMD's 7 nanometer GPU. It does support AMD FreeSync technology and video streaming up to 8K. And don't worry, I will be testing all of that and bringing it to you soon. Well, I mean, maybe not the 8K part because I just don't have an 8K monitor yet. Supporting AMD's image sharpening, anti-lag, Fidelity FX, VR Ready Premium, and all their game driver optimizations. So this will support Windows 7 and Windows 10, along with 8.1 if you still use it. But of course, you know, those are going to limit you with ray tracing support, as well as Linux. So we've gone over an unboxing and an overview of the card. I've let you know all of the features and specifications of the card, as well as everything that comes in the box. So just make sure with this, if you're expecting any kind of cables or adapters or anything along those lines, they're not going to be in here. You need to either buy them separately or already have all the adapters on you. So HDMI or DisplayPort, if you need anything in between that, you're going to need to buy adapters. You're going to need at least a 750 watt power supply for this bad boy. While it doesn't consume all 750 watts, the other is for your system as well and may not even reach 750 watts, but they want to make sure you're covered no matter where you go. So that's about it for now. Stay tuned. I am going to be bringing you some gaming on this bad boy, as well as a comparison with another popular video card and a bunch of games and benchmarks and everything. And then I'm also going to show you how to install it for those of you that don't know how to. Don't worry, I've been there before. We've all been there before. Then also show you how to control the RGB and the fans to keep your system nice and cool and running perfectly. That's about it for now. Again, this is Iggy with This Bytes For You doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Sapphire Radeon Nitro Plus 6800 video card. Iggy out. See you guys.